Emmanuel Amakofi Bua, being the representative of the people of Elembele in parliament, after hearing the shooting to death and injuring of some of his constituents by security personnel in front of the Nkrofu Magistrate Court, visited the family house at Teleku Bukazo. The MP was then met with cries for help from the wife and mother of Andrew Donko, the deceased. <laughs> For the traumatized brother of the slain 33 year old Andrew Donko, justice is all the family demands from the police and the state. But what I demand now, what I demand now is justice because it's clear evidence and the, the, uh, their witnesses, uh, they saw said, uh, my brother was not even aware the crowd was. He was sitting somewhere making a score and the crowd were not even uh, making any, right? They were just there to support their people. So we demand justice. We demand justice. We demand justice. Okay. The government, we, we want to know the military person that fired the shot. He should explain why he fired the shot. Because somebody who was on a call, he was not armed. He didn't attack. Why all this? Emmanuel Amako Fibua, who then called on the chief of Teleko Bokazo to confer with him on resolving the matter, told City News the bigger problem in the area is the misuse of security personnel by Adamus Resources Mines, which has so far resulted in about four deaths and must be investigated by Shraj and the police. And I apologize on behalf of the people of uh, Telekomukazo, especially the young people who went to the police station uh, to vandalize the station and cause damage. Uh, that's very regrettable. We have serious problems in this area but the, we don't have a fight with the police in fact this is about the fourth death of a young person in connection with Adamus mining and the person who shot on those two occasions who shot these young people are not police officers it is the military attached to the Adamus mines. So the, 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 the thought that young people will go and attack a police station is regrettable. And I think that the chief has uh, stated it. But let me be very clear. The people of Tele Kubokazo, Anya, Salma, and all of the people in this area they live here for over 300 years. We are farming communities with lands. We grow vegetables. We grow cassava. All of a sudden, one morning, we have a company here who says government of Ghana has given all those lands to him. And since that time till now, we've not had any peace. You are mining on concessions. Even when you have done with that particular area after 10 years, you refuse to even allow the community to engage in legal mining activity 
for their daily of after destroying their farms. Is this fair? And then we will have state soldiers to protect mining companies against its own citizens, shooting at them. That's the anger. And I, I think that I'm calling on President Akufuado. And I'm calling on Chirac and the police service. The real issue has to do with the treatment of the people in these areas by the mining company. The MP's position was also supported by the chief. I've been here more than 10 years. You know what I mean? I shall say, I'm going to 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 say, i am going to say i am going Namusana <laughs> Meanwhile, the youth of Telekubukazo and its environs are demanding for a commission of inquiry into the matter. We are calling on the president of Ghana, His Excellency Nayadu Dankwa Kufuado, to as a matter of urgency and with immediate effect, we are appealing to him to set up a commission of inquiry. I repeat, a commission of inquiry. This is beyond the Ghana Police Service. I repeat, this is beyond the Ghana Police Service. We are asking of him to set up a commission of inquiry. Pursuant to Article 278 of the 1992 Constitution. President, we are invoking the 1992 Constitution. If you believe in it, work on that. To set up, set up a commission of inquiry to investigate the killing of Andrew Zonko, the damages at the TMO police station, and the death of Michael Derry, and all other brutalities and disputes between the company and communities surrounding the company so that these communities and the company can exist in a peaceful manner or coexist in a peaceful manner and to ensure that LMBLA is continuously developed.